What's up party people? Welcome back to my channel. On this episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about what we do for discipline, what we do for chores, and also I wanted to talk about something I get a lot of comments about, and that is that I should treat Autumn the same way that I treat my boys, so I'm gonna address all that. I'm also gonna show you clips of Autumn doing her chores and Joe doing his chores. Not so much Andy because he's out of town right now, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> all right, girlfriend, let's see you in action. I wanna see you doing your chores today. It's okay that you take your time though. <laughs> I don't want you to fall. What was that? I don't know about your dress. I know, right? I'm like, do I need to put her leggings back on? <laughs> she did have her leggings on. She just took them off when we got home. <laughs> Thanks for people on YouTube channel that up. Yeah, she did have leggings on. <laughs> I know you can do it, princess. Just gotta unplug it first. There you go. Woohoo! Good job, sweetheart. Here, this side. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta start the other side, sweetheart. Nope, remember? Yeah. Stand up. Yes. Okay, ready? Watch. Down. Hook it. Nope, this way. And up. Okay, do it again. Down. Hook it, yeah. and up. Oh. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Say help. Oh. Okay, watch, watch me. Here, hold it. Yeah, down. Down. Yeah. She's, she's got the motion, she just, yeah. it's just yeah. the wrapping yeah. part. There you go. Uh oh, down. Show me how you put it away in the closet. I missed some spots over She here. can do it, I know. There you go. Good job, Adam. Nice work. You did it! Woohoo! Say, I did it! High five, sweetheart. Can I have a high five? Proud of you. Woo! Load up. <laughs> All right, let's get this back on the carpet. Joe is in charge of our recycles. That's and what else, Joe? Huh? The box is outside. Smashing them. So his job is to But, but mostly I do recycling a lot. Yeah, because we have a lot of recycles. So he collects all the recycles that were left in the house and puts them outside. That's pretty much his job. And there's also boxes that we have in the garage from soda. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about who is helping Autumn in a lot of these videos, and that is her behavioral therapist, that is Roxana. She also has another behavioral therapist named Mariah that, are, that both work with her during the week. Um, they help her with chores, they help her with homework, they help her with all those kinds of things. It's not just when she's having behaviors. It's things that will cause behaviors, like homework. She really doesn't like doing homework, so she will have behaviors when it comes to doing homework. Um, we also do her bathroom routine of brushing her teeth and brushing her hair and flossing her teeth as well. And those are all things that she does not like to do and she will have behavior. So that is why we do those things as well. They also work on things like puzzles and they work on 
um, beads and they work on stringing things and they work on like art and writing. They work on all sorts of things that Autumn does not like to do and will not do without assistance and without somebody over her helping her do it. So it's not just stuff about behavior because I do get that comment a lot. Oh, why isn't she doing other things? Why is she doing schoolwork? Why is she doing this? Why is she doing that? And that is the reason. They help with all those things that she will have behaviors. So I wanted to clear that up first and foremost. <laughs> Autumn still has a really hard time following directions. She can follow a one-step command, but farther than that will get her confused and lost because she has a really bad short-term memory, which is really common with Down syndrome. So we try to keep things really, really simple when we tell her things because she'll forget easily unless she goes step by step by step by step. We have to tell her one step. Okay, we're gonna do this one thing and then she'll get it. And then we'll go to the next thing. Okay, we're gonna do this one thing. We're working on adding more steps to it, but right now she can still only do a one step command. So that was something else I get a comment about. Okay, so for the chores that Autumn does, she empties the dishwasher, which you guys saw. She vacuums the rug, which you guys saw. She also sweeps under the chairs, which I didn't show because I didn't have any footage of that. And then she also wipes the bathroom counters with like Windex. And then Joe, he takes the recycles every day, which is like multiple times a day because we, we have a lot of water bottles and stuff. He also crushes like the soda boxes and stuff like that from the fridge and the outside and then he puts it in the trash. And then Andy brings in the barrel and he has to empty all the trash cans in the house probably like three times a week, two times a week, depending on what it is. I couldn't show you that because Andy's out of town and, and He's in Washington DC right now, which I will share you guys some share some footage with you guys so you can see his wonderful trip he's taking with the eighth graders. He's super excited about it. So. <laughs> so the other thing I want to talk about is discipline. And people ask me all the time, you should treat your kids all the same, blah, blah, blah. And I do. I do try to treat my treat my kids all the same when it comes to discipline. Everybody has to be responsible for their actions. Everybody has to face the consequences of their actions. And especially Autumn, people think, oh, you baby her, you let her have her way. That is not true. She has, she gets disciplined just like my boys get disciplined. She gets punishment just like my boys get punishment. And although I do treat her differently in the fact that she needs more help, and obviously she needs the therapies and she needs this and she needs that in order to succeed because it takes her longer to learn things. Yeah, that's true. I did do give her extra help for that, but I have to do that. She has more needs than they do. She has different needs than they, than they do. So yes, on that end of the end of things, I will have to treat her differently. I mean, there's no way around that, but do I discipline her? 100%. And do I discipline my boys? 100%. <laughs> I think something that drives me absolutely crazy, and I'm sure it drives other special needs parents crazy too, is when a child with special needs is not getting disciplined. Because when the parents are making excuses like, oh, they have special needs, oh, they have Down syndrome, oh, they have autism. So they start making excuses instead of actually dealing with the behaviors. And that's why there is ABA therapy. ABA therapy is there to help you cope with the, the situation and help communicate better to your child, for your child to communicate better to you. Yes, there are going to be times where there's terrible tantrums in the middle of Target, but you deal with the behavior the way you're taught to deal with the behavior. And hopefully they get less and less and less. But sitting there making excuses like, oh, that's just the way they are, that's not gonna help. <laughs> I remember an actual experience where this happened to me. We were at a bounce house place and Autumn was having horrible behaviors. And she, I think, bit a little girl and I was dealing with the behavior. And I told her, I went, I took her in the bathroom and I said, I'm very disappointed in your behavior. This is not how we act. And the lady came in and she felt really bad. She's like, I know she has special needs. I'm like, that doesn't matter. She needs to learn it's not okay to bite people. I don't care if she has special needs. There's no excuse to bite people. And so she, the lady was getting mad at me. Like, you shouldn't discipline her. And I'm like, why? Because she has Down syndrome? I'm like, she, she gets disciplined just like everybody else. <laughs> I think the day that I woke up, so to speak, and I realized that Autumn understood everything that my boys understood. Like she does understand a lot of things. And we did used to treat her like she didn't understand for a long time. But the day it clicked and I started to see that she did understand and she was manipulating me on a lot of things and she still kind of does do that. <laughs> it changed the way I saw her. And I think that's also what a lot of people see her as just, oh, she's so innocent, oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so this, oh, she's so that. But you know what? She's just like any other kid. She has more needs than other kids, but she understands and she's very manipulative and she tries to get away with things just like other kids try to get away with things. <laughs> and she gets away with it because she is really cute. <laughs> okay, the last thing I wanted to mention was the things I do for discipline. We usually just take away privileges. 
Um, we take away iPad, we take away TV, we take away video games, we take away, we take away Andy's phone. Um, so anything like that, or we take away privileges, like in the moment, we just take them out and they have like a timeout. Like if we're out a bouncy house, like I said before, we would have a timeout for, you know, like a minute or two minutes, depending on what we tell Autumn. She understands though. She knows she's in trouble when she has to sit in the corner and she has to not be a part of the fun activity that's going on. So those are the things we do for discipline. I don't know if anybody was wondering, cause I don't know, some people have things in their head they think discipline is. And that's what we do for discipline. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. Make sure you hit the like button, also subscribe, and you hit that bell for notifications. Have a great day. Lots more videos to come.